Hi everyone, it's Connor here, your BGSU president, and I'm here today with Craig Ferguson from the graduation team to ask him a few questions about your graduation this year and what's going to happen. Kicking straight off, Craig. Yep. The first question I have for you is how many guests can I bring with me? So the number of guests that students can bring with them to the ceremony changes year on year, and that's just because of A, the capacity in the cathedral, and B, the number of graduating students changes each year. Uh, so what we do typically do is when we send the email out to let students know that registration is open and they can book their tickets, we'll just put something in that email communication that says you can bring X number of guests with you um, to the ceremony. We do also, if there are additional guest tickets available, we do open up for an additional round of guest ticketing at a later stage in the process. Brill. And how much do those tickets cost? So student tickets are free of charge. They don't have to pay for their own tickets. Uh, guest tickets are uh, £20 for 2024 and that does include a free glass of fizz for the on-campus celebrations for students and their guests as well. Ace, so when do the tickets go on sale? Uh, tickets go on sale in early April. Like I've just said, we do send out an email communication to all students and that will go to their non-BGU email addresses. So just need to keep an eye on uh, anything non-BGU email related for that coming through. And what about all of the robes and the fancy academic dress? How much does that cost? So it varies depending on which level of study you're at. So whether you're undergraduate, postgraduate and master's or foundation degree, the costs do vary slightly. We have got all of that information available on our website so students can have a look and we do include it in the email communications when Tickerson goes live as well. So other than the fancy robes, what's the dress code? Uh, we do ask students to dress quite smartly. Um, so for um, men and male identifying students, suits, uh, ladies tend to wear really nice dresses. Um, you want something that you're not going to sort of trip up in, so something that's practical. It's very uneven surfaces in the cathedral and walking down to the cathedral from campus, so you don't want footwear that's going to get caught in cracks and pavements. Um, so something comfortable and also the cathedral can go quite warm in summer, so um, you want something that is relatively breathable as well. You don't want to be layering up too much. I'm pleased to say I've never actually seen anyone trip at graduation. <laughs> So, um, how will I know which ceremony I'm going to attend? So, the ceremonies have all been allocated, all the subjects have been allocated to their ceremonies. That's available on the website now. Um, when you receive your official invitation via email, uh, we do put um, in there which specific ceremony you will be attending, so what date and what time, so that is included in the email for you. So what if, um, like you said that about guests coming, uh, can my family sit with me? Are they allowed? So the way the ceremony itself works, you're, you can't sit with your guests at the ceremony. Um, and that's just because we have um, numbered seating for all of the students. So students have to go up in a particular order and that is set prior to the ceremony. So you have to sit in the seat number that you're allocated. There is a, an area for guests to sit and you can meet up with them after the ceremony and back on campus as well. So, on average, how long would you say those ceremonies are? The ceremonies, again, it depends on the number of students that we have graduating in any given ceremony, but they last between an hour to an hour and a half at the absolute maximum. Bro, And will there be a bus service that can take students and their guests to and from the cathedral? So, this is something that we have done uh, in previous years, and we do look to do it whenever we possibly can, because we do know that there are students and guests alike that do have mobility issues or access needs that do benefit from um, that service. Uh, we do send out, once all of the ticketing information has gone out and a little bit close to the ceremonies, we do send out some communications to our students to let them know what to expect from their ceremony and what to expect from the celebrations on campus as well. So there will be details in those email communications about any um, shuttle services, uh, support for those with access needs and mobility issues. That will all be included in there in writing for you. Amazing. Thank you, Craig. Can you tell the students where they can find you if they have any further questions? Uh, so the best way to contact us is via email. So our email address is graduation at bishopg.ac.uk. Uh, we are very responsive to our emails. You can also get in touch via the BGU and Students Union social media channels. Um, they will either answer the queries for you or they'll direct them uh, through to us. If you did want to see us, just pop us an email. We can arrange a time to meet with you and, and get your questions answered. Amazing. Thank you so much for coming today, Craig. Um, as Craig said, if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to let us know. We're here for you when you need us. See you there.